Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our 11th and last lesson on a given form 2 mathematics topic called equations of a straight line. So we are looking at our 10th example which reads that a line L has an equation of 2y minus 2x minus 6 is equals to 0. Find the part A acute angle that uh, the line L makes with the x axis so uh, suppose i sketch uh, my axis here that is the y axis and also the uh, x axis so if this is my uh, x axis then of course this is my uh, y axis i'm told that the line l is actually cutting the uh, x axis so suppose uh, we have this particular uh, line uh, l which is cutting uh, the x axis so of course this is our x axis then this is the y axis so the angle that the line makes with the x axis is this particular angle which we are calling angle uh, theta of course this will be a uh, 90 degrees now notice that the distance uh, from this particular line to the point uh, zero zero this is what we are calling the change in y then the distance uh, from the origin to the maximum uh, value where the line is cutting the x axis this is what you are calling the uh, change in x then uh, if we want to get the acute angle theta we'll we are going to use the trigonometric ratios because we know that the turn of theta uh, should give us uh, the opposite then of course divided by the uh, adjacent uh, side so of course the side which is opposite to theta will be this particular side which is the change in y then divided by the side which is adjacent to theta is this particular side which is the change in uh, x now we know that change in y over change in x usually gives us the uh, gradient of that particular line therefore it means that uh, the turn of theta should be equal to the gradient of this particular line uh, l then of course for line l we are given its equation as 2y minus 2x minus 6 is equals to 0 so we are going to find the equation uh, that is the gradient of this particular equation which is 2y uh, minus 2x minus 6 is equals to 0 to find the gradient we'll change it in the general form which is y is equals mx plus c so we'll end up with 2y uh, being equal to a positive 2x then of course plus 6 if i divide through by 2 uh, over 2 over 2 i'll end up with y uh, being equal to a 1x then of course plus uh, 3 so comparing with y is equals to mx uh, plus c clearly uh, the gradient of this particular line is equal to a positive 1 now from this particular relationship we know that the turn of theta uh, the turn of theta should actually uh, give us the gradient of course which is uh, 1 therefore if we want to get the gradient uh, that uh, the line L makes with our x axis uh, we are going to do the following so to get theta uh, theta uh, will be given by the turn inverse the turn inverse of uh, the gradient which is 1 now to get turn inverse you simply uh, press this on your calculator you press uh, shift uh, shift followed by turn then followed by one then you press equal sign the calculator is going to give you the value of theta as a uh, 45 degrees therefore uh, the angle made by the line with our x axis is 45 degrees then we move to part b uh, of the question uh, which is asking us to find the obtuse angle that the line l makes with the uh, x axis remember an obtuse angle uh, an obtuse angle uh, obtuse angle is usually an angle uh, is an angle uh, this is usually an angle uh, greater than an angle greater than uh, 90 degrees greater than 90 degrees but less than uh, but less than uh, 180 degrees greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees therefore uh, if we have an obtuse angle here if these are obtuse angle it will always be less than 180 degrees but it must be a uh, greater than uh, 90 degrees therefore if i let uh, this particular angle so this is the obtuse angle that the line is making with the x-axis so this is uh, let it be called angle uh, beta now we know that angle theta which is the uh, acute angle and the angle uh, beta which is our obtuse angle we can see that these are angles on a straight line the straight line here is the 
uh, x axis then we know that the angles on a straight line usually add up to 180 degrees therefore we'll say if we take uh, the acute angle if we take the acute angle uh, acute angle then we add the obtuse angle acute angle plus uh, the obtuse angle uh, obtuse angle uh, so these two should actually give me 180 degrees the reason being these are angles uh, these are angles on a straight line angles on a straight uh, line angles on a straight line the straight line in this case here of course is the uh, the x-axis the x-axis is the uh, this particular straight line that we are talking of so uh, the acute angle was denoted by theta the obtuse angle is being denoted by beta so these two should give us 180 degrees because you already have the uh, acute angle which is 45 degrees we'll have 45 degrees uh, then plus uh, angle beta which is the obtuse angle should give us 180 degrees now on uh, computing this uh, we are going to end up with the following i'll simply take uh, that is the 45 degrees towards the right hand side so that uh, angle beta uh, will be equal to 180 degrees then of course minus uh, 45 degrees so this is going to give me 135 degrees therefore we'll say the obtuse angle at uh, the obtuse uh, angle the obtuse angle that line l that the line l makes uh, makes with our x axis makes with the x axis uh, will be given by uh, theta that is uh, beta of course which is equals to 135 degrees then uh, we move to our example number 11 uh, which reads that a line l has an equation of 2y minus x minus 4 is equals to 0 find the but a acute angle that line l makes with the y axis so of course i'm going to sketch this uh suppose uh, this is my y uh, axis then of course i have my x axis here so they want the line that is the angle that the line will make with the uh, y axis so this is my y axis this is x axis it means that this particular line must be cutting the uh, y axis so uh, this line is cutting the y uh, axis so if this is our um, uh, y axis of course we know that uh, the angle that is required is this particular angle here which i'm going to call angle uh, alpha then of course this will be angle theta which is the angle that the line makes with the uh, x axis now for me to get the angle uh, alpha of course we know that this is uh, a right angle triangle then sum of interior angles of a right angle triangle should give you 180 degrees therefore i'm going to get the acute angle after that i'll get the uh, that is uh, that is the other acute angle that the line makes with the uh, y axis now we know the relationship between angle theta and the gradient so we can talk of of course this distance uh, represents uh, the change uh, in y then of course this distance represents the a change in x therefore because i'm given the equation of the line which is uh, 2y then of course minus x uh, minus 4 is equals to 0 i'm going to find the gradient of this particular line to obtain that i'm going to change it in the general form so 2y is equals to positive x then of course plus 4 i'll divide through by 2 uh, over 2 over 2 this one simply means that y uh, will be equal to uh, a half x so this is a half x then of course plus uh, 4 over 2 i'm going to get a positive 2 so if i compare with y is equals to mx then of course plus c it's clearly evident that the gradient of this particular line will be equal to a positive a half now uh, we earlier saw on that the turn of uh, the angle theta which is the acute angle that the line makes with the x axis will be given by changing y over a change in x which is actually the gradient uh, of course the gradient in this case is equal to a half so uh, i'm going to obtain uh, the acute angle that the line makes with the x axis first so that means the turn of theta uh, the turn of theta must give me uh, a half so that means theta will be equal to the turn inverse the turn inverse of a half now you compute this on your calculator 
a shift turn uh, 0 0.5 you are going to get uh, your angle of theta being equal to 26 uh, point uh, five seven degrees i've just taken the answer correct to uh, four significant uh, figures so the question wanted me to find the acute angle that the line makes with the y-axis so the acute angle is this one uh, this is the angle that it makes with the y-axis now we know that uh, because this is a right angle triangle it means that if i take angle theta i add angle alpha then i add the 90 degrees uh, this one should give me 180 degrees the reason being these are angles as uh, uh, so the reason is a sum a sum of interior angles sum of interior angles of a triangle sum of interior angles of a triangle uh, we know that it must add up to a 180 degrees so if i take this theta plus alpha plus 90 i should get 180 so because i already have angle theta which is uh 26 uh, 0.5 uh, 7 degrees then if i add to angle alpha then i add 90 degrees uh, this one should give me 180 degrees so that means uh, angle alpha uh, will be given by i'll have 180 then i'll take these ones towards the uh, left that is the right hand side so this will be minus 90 degrees then minus at uh, 26.57 degrees you feed this on your calculator you'll get angle alpha uh, being equal to a uh, 63 then of course uh point uh, 43 degrees 63.43 degrees therefore uh the angle uh the angle that the line uh, that is the acute angle that the line makes with the uh, y axis will be given by a uh, 63.43 degrees therefore i'll say uh the angle uh angle that the line angle that uh the line l uh, makes makes with the y axis the, with the y axis not just the angle the acute angle uh, the acute angle that the line uh, makes with the y axis will be given by a uh, 63 a uh, point a uh, four three degrees so this was uh 11 part a of the question then we move to part b so in part b uh the question wants us to uh to find the angle that are uh, the same same line uh, that is the obtuse angle that the line makes with the y-axis so the obtuse angle will be this particular angle here which i'm calling uh let me call it uh, angle p so we can see that uh, angle alpha and p are on a straight line uh. so if i take angle alpha then of course plus angle p i uh, should give me 180 degrees so that simply means that the acute angle uh if you add to uh the obtuse angle uh obtuse angle they should give you 180 degrees the reason being these are angles uh angles on a straight line angles on a straight uh line uh they usually add up to uh, 180 degrees the straight line here is the y-axis so that is the y-axis is the uh, straight line so angle um, alpha i've gotten it as a foot that is a 63.43 uh, degrees uh, then plus uh, the angle p which is the obtuse angle uh, that the line makes with the uh, y axis should give me 180 degrees so angle p will be uh, 180 degrees then of course we less uh, 63.4 at uh, 3 degrees therefore angle p uh, will be given by 116 point five seven degrees therefore the obtuse angle the obtuse angle uh, that the line that line l max that l max uh, with the y-axis with the y-axis uh, will be given by uh, angle p which is 116 uh, point five seven degrees Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.